What's going on guys? It is now November. If you're in the United States school system, we have two big breaks coming up. We have Thanksgiving break at the end of the month, and then we have winter break coming up. So it might be very tempting to just give up on school and look towards those awesome breaks, but we have something very important coming up called final exams. You may want to just give up and coast towards the end of the semester, but you have to do the opposite. You have to work harder than you ever have this semester, and a lot of people may be lacking motivation, so I'm gonna tell you guys what personally motivates me and how you guys can stay motivated. I used to wonder what it feels like. Before we start today's video, Madison and I will be recording a Q&A, so comment down below your questions that we can answer in that video, and it can be related to anything. So first, we're gonna start off with what motivates me. I can separate my motivation into intrinsic and extrinsic motivations. My intrinsic motivation is just my own desire to be a doctor. I've wanted to be a doctor since about eighth grade, so my own desire, my strong desire to accomplish that goal is what motivates me to study every day, but that always isn't enough motivation for me. Sometimes I can just forget about that goal and I can slack off, so I also have extrinsic motivators that really help me out. Some extrinsic motivators for me are my family and Madison and my friends because at the end of the day, being a doctor is pretty financially stable and they've supported me throughout this whole entire journey and I wanna be able to give back to them. I always think about my family when I'm losing motivation and just knowing that I'm also doing this for them, that helps motivate me. Another extrinsic motivator is my future patients. So the time I put into studying now is going to benefit my future patients. I wanna be able to deliver the best possible healthcare that I can and if I don't study now, then I can't do that. And lastly, I also look up to other people. I look to other people and see what they're doing, how they're accomplishing their goals, and I use them as motivators for me and say, if they can do it, I can do it too. All right guys, so that's pretty much what motivates me. Hopefully that was helpful and hopefully that gives you guys some insight on how you guys can get motivated to study and finish this semester strong. So the next part of the video that we're gonna talk about is how to stay motivated because anyone can be motivated for a day, a weekend, a week, a month, but eventually that motivation and that inspiration fade, especially as the semester goes along. So I'm gonna teach you guys how I personally ramp up my motivation and how I stay motivated. So the first key thing is just remember your goals. Obviously you've set those goals, they've motivated you in the past and if you're lacking motivation, just think back to why are you doing this in the first place? Why are you spending countless hours sitting at a desk, staring at a book or a computer screen, whatever? Ask yourself those questions and answer them with whatever your goals are, with whatever your intrinsic and extrinsic motivators are. The next thing you can do is schedule breaks because not everyone can just sit down and study for, for days on end. You have to get some sleep, you have to get some social breaks, you have to take care of your own health. If you're not healthy mentally and physically, then it is really hard to focus on your studies. So I recommend scheduling breaks, you know, study every 50 minutes, take a 10 minute break, schedule a break on Fridays or Saturdays or Sundays. Be sure to hang out with your friends, hang out with your family, have fun, get in workouts. It doesn't have to be daily, but make sure you keep up your physical activity because that helps you stay focused. And just overall take care of yourself. If you're able to plan out when you're supposed to be studying and when you should take a break, then I think that'll really help you stay motivated and avoid burning out through the end of the semester. The third tip I have for you guys is to surround yourself with other motivated individuals. If you surround yourself with other people who are very motivated, then you are likely to be motivated. An example for me is I meet up with two other classmates at least every weekend to study. We go over the entire weeks of material and they are very motivated. They motivate me to stay on track with all of my studying because I don't wanna show up to the study session and not know anything. And they personally hold me accountable for getting my studying done. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up my tips for how I personally stay motivated and how you guys can stay motivated throughout the end of the semester. If you guys are struggling, if you guys are having a tough time for school, keep your head up, keep studying hard. The semester is not over yet. There's still plenty of grades to be entered. Keep up the good work. I know you guys can do it. And let's finish this semester off on a strong note. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below any questions you have for Madison or myself or the both of us. And we will be sure to answer them in that Q&A video coming up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time.